What's up guys? Hope you guys are having a great Thursday. We are so close to the weekend. I can almost taste it. Um, today we're going to keep it short and sweet, sweet and talk about men's lacrosse and what we as female lacrosse players can learn from the men's game. One of the things that I love about our sport of, lacro of lacrosse is that the men's game and the women's game are actually extremely different. Um, you don't find that, you know, with basket, basketball or soccer where men and women both play and the rules are really similar. Um, for men's and women's lacrosse, as many of you guys know, it's completely different. Um, different rules, different pads, different equipment. Uh, sticks are completely different. Everything is kind of um, on the outside polar opposites, even though we're under the name lacrosse. Um, but if you look close enough, you can actually find a few things that we as female athletes and female lacrosse players can learn from the men's side and vice versa. And here's some, a few things that we as women's participants can learn from the men's side. I think the first thing that strikes me initially in terms of similarity is how possessions are started. Um, so we have the draw in women's lacrosse and the men have face-offs. And now with the rule change, you, us, we like the men only have two other teammates on our circle or wings in the men's game um, instead of four like it used to be. And I think when we are watching men compete, whether it's in college or international or pro, um, I think all the centers and all the circle people who are females can really watch kind of how the men strategize. Um, sometimes the face-off guys will cliff, or will pull it to space. Sometimes they'll pop it up to themselves. And the three people on that line, so the two wings and the face-off guy, um, really are on the same page a lot of the time. So if we as females who play in the midfield can learn and watch kind of their strategies and how they communicate through, um, you know, different different draw, uh, different face-off guys, different techniques, I think that is something that can easily apply to our women's game too. Now, I love to watch men's offensively, per, uh, for sure. You know, they can rip it from really far. They can be really physical. There's a lot of big hits, um, both from the offensive side and defensive side of the play. And I think the thing that stands out to me that's most similar to the men's offense as to women's offense is when they play against a zone and they're able to kind of hit those skip passes. So when you watch men's lacrosse and a lot of the times men play a zone, um, and they have their long poles out there and their short, their shorties and whatnot, um, if you watch the offensive guys, what they're really trying to do is move the ball, move the ball, and hit some skip passes, especially vertically. Um, so if there's there's usually a point guy and they hit it to a wing across through another player, um, and that often gets the big rip open. Um, so I know zones have become a huge thing for women's lacrosse recently. Um, they seem to be the new defensive style of play for a majority of teams. If you guys are offensive players and are watching men's lacrosse play and they're playing against the zone, just see how they always keep their head up. They find those skip passes and are able to get open shots as a result. In terms of the defensive side, um, I know when we, most of us think of men's lacrosse, we think of the big hits and that they're able to be physical and they have the long poles that can whack and whatever. Um, but for me, when I watch men's lacrosse, I notice the times that they don't swing, that they don't use their sticks, and just play really good body defense. Um, you know, I think especially with the long poles, we expect them, them to throw checks all the time and get their poke checks and whatnot. Um, but I think if you watch their footwork and the way that they actually keep their person in front of them and only use their the physicality, the strength when necessary, um, that's something that easily translates to the women's game. Their footwork as a whole... Um, on the men's side is just super impressive, um, especially with those giant sticks that are heavy and long and hard to control. Um, they kind of make it seem super easy. And I think if you're a defender who's watching men play, not only notice the big hits, which are really cool and make the highlight reels, but also how they use their footwork and especially how much the shorties um, use their footwork because they don't have the long poles to kind of bail them out. So with that, there's um, there's just a few kind of things to note when you guys are watching men play, if you guys are females, and want to learn something too. We can learn not only from the women's game, but from the men's game as well. Um, from the face-offs and the strategies there to the offensive skip passes and keeping your head up 
to the defensive footwork from both long poles and shorties. Um, us, we as female lacrosse players can learn a lot from the men's game, and I think that can happen vice versa too. So next time you guys are watching a men's college, high school, pro, international game, and um, looking to learn something, just keep those things in mind. Bye, guys.